Welcome, in front of me is an iPhone 14 and today I'll show you, or at least try to show you, how you can apply the foil. This is uh, supposedly called ceramic foil. I'm not sure how it's ceramic and yet a foil, but whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna straight up be honest with you before I even do this. Uh, this is kind of crap in my opinion and tempered glass is a little bit better. Now, differences between those, uh, it, this won't crack on you because it's not ceramic, it's just plastic, so it doesn't break. It might get scratched up, but it won't break. Unlike, for instance, tempered glass, which can snap, crack whenever you drop it, so yeah. I'll be actually removing tempered glass from here, which is even stupider, because objectively, I would say tempered glass is better. Now, one thing that you can do is actually keep the case on because it might provide you a little bit of like a bumper when you're applying tempered glasses or any kind of screen protectors. So you will, you will have this kind of outlines where you know you can't go outside of because then the screen protector won't lay correctly on the screen. Now, I have done this enough that I'm not gonna bother with this. So anyway, let me first I'm gonna actually turn off the phone just so the screen won't be lighting up. There we go. And now I'm gonna remove the tempered glass, which, like I said, not the best uh, substitute, but whatever. So there we go. So now let's move over to our, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make my job easier. I'm gonna put it back on. Uh, the reason why I just did this, and holy crap, that just went perfectly back on. <laughs> the reason why I did this is because once I actually remove the tempered glass, uh, dust can settle on it, and this will just make it a little bit easier. So anyway, let's pop this open. There we go. So even the even though the screen protector itself is a little bit crap in my opinion, um, the inclusions of this though this is a little bit of a waste of paper. You already had more paper here. You didn't need to put these things inside of additional paper, considering they are already protected. But yeah. Um, so, apart from the screen protector being mesh, you do have actually things like, for instance, the microfiber cloth. Holy crap, is this actually useful. I do love the inclusion of this. It makes cleaning the display just a breeze, unlike some other tempered glasses, for instance, that include these absolutely tiny wipes that are, when unfolded, about this big. So, that would be the surface area of your wipe, wet or dry wipe, which is just hilarious. Now, additionally, you get a, a screen solution right here. So this is also a pretty decent size, unlike, like I said, other phones, which just to actually showcase this, I'm gonna show you how other tempered glasses, uh, like what they come with. So there we go. So that would be wet as an example or dry wipe. They're both the same size and just think, this is unfolded. This is the entire size of a wipe that you're supposed to utilize for your screen. And trust me, uh, it's not because this is a 14 or whatever. Uh, all the devices that uh, basically have like same manufacturer for tempered glasses, they all include the same wipes. And no matter what the display size is, they're all the same size. So yeah. Anyway, let's open this up. So this is going to be the wet wipe. Now, in terms of smell, it's not the best smelling thing. So you can just use it. As you can see, it's pretty wet. So you could clean off your display with this. Now I'm pretty sure it's alcohol based, so uh, it might not smell the best. And from there, you can then dry it off. Now I am aware that I'm 
cleaning a tempered glass right now, but I'm just doing this as a showcase. So and we go once you clean off your actual screen fully to the point that it has no smudges of any sorts like this, you can set it to the side. Now one more thing that might be beneficial is to cover it up with something. So if you have anything like lying around that even for instance this, right? It usually won't have any kind of dust. You could just place it over the display. The reason why I mentioned this is because if any kind of dust settles on right here in this area, it will settle on a little package instead of on your display, making your job a little bit easier. Now another thing that you will have with this specific uh, screen protector is this thing. This is just a sticker and you can utilize this to remove any kind of uh, debris, so dust particles that might have settled on your screen before you apply this. And lastly, moving on to this, uh, the way you apply this, this is the front, so you would just place it like this. Once you peel off the sticky side, which will be just by grabbing right here and yanking it downwards in this case. And you can just then plop this on. And yeah. So I'm gonna also grab one more thing, which necessarily isn't part of the application but you could utilize it just to get a better result hopefully so i'm looking for something straight eh, this will i guess work enough of a straight edge i would say the reason why i got this is because once i put this on i can just just slide it like this and this will just hopefully push out all the air bubbles along the way when it's applying it but I guess we'll see how that goes. So anyway, I'm gonna remove this. As you can see, or maybe not, but if I move it around, you can now see that there is basically no, almost no dust particles apart from maybe, nope, that's not even dust. So yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna remove the actual tempered glass. can already see a little bit of dust settling, so I'm gonna do utilize this. Now let's grab our screen protector and remove the protective film. And now I can apply it. Now you can see it does have a cutout right here, so keep that in mind when applying it. And I can already see that it did, didn't apply correctly. But you know what, I'm just gonna ignore it. So you can see a couple little portions where we have some air. Now you could just push it out, like I'm doing right now. Like I said, this is not the best protector. And as you can see, it's coming up, like, up right here for no freaking reason. Same here. There's nothing really here. And the microscopic amount of just dust that showed up right here, it's already causing it to have air bubbles you can see the tiniest dust but like this normally shouldn't happen and just to kind of showcase this this is a tempered glass that was laying right now upwards so it can gather gather, gather dust and i can remove this just as a, a little bit of a show so i don't really like this at all and something tells me that i can apply this back on And it basically applied itself 
almost perfectly. There's a tiny bit of whatever the heck this is, but once removed, you can basically apply the glass perfectly. And this is on an edge, so you can just grab something like a needle and just pick it out from there. So yeah. Uh, anyway, this was kind of a video on how to apply this, though, as always, just a tiniest bit of any kind of debris makes this have air bubbles that you just cannot get rid of, so if you have this, I kind of feel sorry for you. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.